What's up, YouTube? Yes, I'm coming for to you, laying down in bed. Um, this video was supposed to be up last night. This is gonna be part two of my uh, food addiction, but you know, since moving to the new place, I don't do videos like I used to because the computer is now in the living room with the TV which means my boyfriend and my son are always in there which means it's too loud for me to really get into my videos because back at the old spot the TV and the video games and all that stuff was in the bedroom which means when I wanted to go to bed I could never really sleep so whatever um I guess today will be my second day on my um juice feast which is why I'm still at bed still in bed at close to 11.30 because my stomach is telling me to go to the kitchen and find something to eat <laughs> and um, I figured you know if I stay away <laughs> from the kitchen I'd be alright so I'm staying in bed and I do have a slight headache I don't know if that's from lack of eating or what Mm -hmm. Ooh. Anyway, back to what I was saying. How my parents used to find all that stuff underneath my bed, like I hoarded food. And um, back then, you know, I was skinny. Um, it could have had a lot to do with the fact that growing up, I was more of a tomboy. You know, I was climbing trees and and I had a little four wheeler and you know I was also taking uh, dance I was taking ballet and jazz and tap and I was just everywhere the energy of a child you know so the stuff that you consume you kinda burn off um, in high school I was in choir you know I was in junior achievement debate club um, yearbook I played instruments, you know, track and field. It was just whatever I ate, all those calories were being used as energy. I know for me the big turning point was uh, the year 1999. I felt like that's when my world started falling down. You know, my parents. My parents divorced, and, you know, I was kind of like a daddy's little girl, and he'd left the States, <laughs> you know, like thousands of miles away, and my brother passed away, and my grandpa passed away, and I was just losing my mind, so I turned to food. It could have been a lot worse, um, considering all of the stuff that I just mentioned. I could have turned to drinking or smoking weed or, you know, drugs or something else. Um, I'm not going to downplay the people who struggle with those addictions, but a food addiction is just as serious. A food addiction can, can kill you. Due to obesity or diabetes or high blood pressures or give you a stroke, you know, high cholesterol. Um, the only difference is it's legal. People don't think of food as a drug or as an addiction. But... For those of us who are overweight and struggling to lose that weight, we know, <laughs> we know it is. Like, if you would sit me down right now, knowing all that I know about what bad food can do to you, if you put a plate of fruits and vegetables in front of me, I don't care how colorful it looks and how... How I know that it's going to taste good because I do love fruits and vegetables, believe it or not. But if you put that plate in front of me 
But then you put a plate off to my side of like some baked beans and cabbage and and barbecue ribs. Not to sound cliche, but um, <clears throat> you probably already know which plate I'm going to be a little bit more tempted to go for. I know for my boyfriend, you know, in his culture, he's a Haitian. And they, you know, they like bigger, thicker women. Because I think it's a thing with island men, you know, on the islands, if you're a big woman, that means either number one, that you must come from a good family to be able to feed you to get that big. Or number two, that means, you know, if they're looking to get married, they think that either um, you'll be able to breed better, have large families, or that you'll be able to cook. <sighs> In my case, it's neither. <laughs> Breeding, I only got one child. And if I was to tell the truth, I should have, like, more, but... <laughs> But God only blessed me with one, and I'll take that, and I'll be happy with that one, because my son is a trip. And, um, cooking? Mm-mm. I was never that girl. <laughs> I was never that girl. My mama, I cook basics, fried chicken. <laughs> I can cook that. But, um, I was too busy. <laughs> too busy getting in trouble. You know, like I said, climbing trees rather than trying to be Susan, you know, little Susie homemaker. Not my forte. So, uh, but what, back to what I was saying. My boyfriend. I think with him, it's more of a culture issue. And I know he says stuff like, you know, when he was growing up and something would happen, his mom would always be like feeding him. Like, oh, baby, it's okay. Have some of this. And, um, you know, a lot of people, I know me and him, and I know a lot more people suppress emotions, negative emotions, with food. <sighs> I'm tired, y'all. Um, I just really wanted to get this on camera more for my benefit so I could look at, back at it. Because like I said, every time I try to start a fast, a juice fast or feast, however you want to call it. I always struggle with my willpower. Like, you know, like I said, for me, I decided to modify it. If I feel the need to eat, I will. But it, it'll be something consisting of raw foods, whether it be like fresh fruits or vegetables or um not exactly sushi but I guess and excuse me if I get it wrong but the shushima me shushime the the fish you could have yeah because there was like a big debate in one of my white loss clubs about this the fish you can have because it's raw but of course the rice is cooked so that would not be raw so I can't have that but I can have the fish so <laughs> And um, shrimps. I talked about that the other day. But as I need to lay off the shrimps before I turn pink. Because the way I was eating them. Mm. But that's part of a rest of diet. So I can have it. But um. In either case y'all. <sighs> Man. Trying to get yourself to a better state of mind. And. Health and body is a struggle, and it's not something that's going to change overnight, because I didn't get to be 270 plus pounds overnight, so I'm not going to wake up and be supermodel material tomorrow. I'll be back with more videos. Bye-bye. <laughs>